Welcome back to our channel, Kentucky Fried Fun. Today, I'm going to be packing for our vacation this weekend. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just see you and me together. Like I said, I'm going to be packing for our vacation this weekend. Thursday, we are going to be leaving for North Carolina, which is where I'm from. We're going to visit my parents and my friends that live there. And then on the way back, we will be stopping in Gatlinburg and staying at a cabin that we actually booked through Airbnb. So that's super exciting. If you like pack with me type videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe and right next to that little subscribe button, if you would click that little bell icon, that way you will get notified of when my videos go up. When we visit North Carolina, we typically stay with my friend Elena. Since we stay at her house, I typically don't pack toiletries like shampoo and shower gel, things like that, because she'll typically just go ahead and have that there for us. But this time, since we are staying at a cabin on the way back, I am going to be packing those things. Um, it is booked through Airbnb, so it should have those items, but I don't want to assume because every Airbnb is different. And so I'm going to go and pack those because I would rather be safe than sorry. Let's get to packing. Before I start packing, I like to write out a list of everything that I need to bring. In that list, I like to include clothes, toiletries, and any electronics that we will be needing to bring. I also made a second list for our dog Chewy as we will also be bringing him along on this trip. Before I started packing, I wanted to go ahead and vacuum out the suitcase. Next, I lay out the clothes that I will be wearing for the week. I make sure to remember to pack some PJs and pick out an outfit to travel in for the first day. Instead of bringing multiple pairs of shorts, I will just bring two pairs that can go with the shirts that I will be wearing. This will help save space in the suitcase. I also make sure to pack a skirt that I can wear to church on that Sunday that we'll be there. Once I have picked out the clothes that I'm going to be bringing, I go ahead and make sure they are all folded nicely so that there's less chance of them getting wrinkled. It's now time to pack the suitcase. First, I put in my shoes. You see some socks there in the shoes. That's just a space saving tip. I would then place my shorts on top of the shoes. And then another space saving tip is to roll any clothes that you can. I learned that one from my grandma. Here I'm just going to roll up my skirts and my shirts. With the clothes all packed, it is now time to move on to the toiletries. And I will just go ahead and start with my makeup. I will be bringing my one eyeshadow palette that has a lot of choices and then just my minimal everyday makeup that I use. I will use a separate bag for my hair products. I will bring my normal tooth comb, a big tooth comb, some bobby pins, this little mirror container, compact thing with some hair bows, and then also some headbands. My third little bag would just be for my shower and bathroom products. A combo of shampoo and conditioner, a razor, a little toothbrush, some toothpaste, and some bars of soap. This will be for when we are at the cabin. 
to store all my little baggies, I'll just be using this bag that my friend Elena actually gave to me as a bridal shower gift when I was at her wedding. I'm also just going to go ahead and vacuum this one out before I put the little bags in there. On top, I will just be putting in a lotion, a travel size deodorant, some body spray, and then a rag that I like to use when I dry my glasses after washing them. I will also be packing a mirror to do my makeup as well as a bag to put our dirty clothes in. We also brought our little dog with us. I packed him his food, which is two of these a day. He probably won't even eat half of it, but I'd rather have plenty than not enough. We are also packing him his collar, as well as a bowl that I'll put water and food in, and then some treats, two teething, or, um, dental treats, which I'll just break into three pieces, Then the other treats I'll give him when he goes in his little crate. And then I'll also obviously bring his food there that I put in the bag. And then also his Nyla bone, which also has a little bit of a deer bone stuck in it and it got too small and I didn't want him to choke on it so I just stuck it in there. And we will be putting it in this little lunch bag. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this pack with me. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe if you are new. And right next to that little red subscribe button, be sure to click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I hope you all had a blessed Labor Day weekend. Bye!